Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a short and sweet video. Today, we're going to talk about the Creative Beast Studios Beast of Mesozoic Triceratops Horridus. 118 scale, if I remember correctly. Shout out to the creator of Creative Beast Studios. I got a chance to speak with him over at Legions Con. Dude is a wonderful dude to sit down and just chat it up with. And it's crazy because I've been collecting this stuff for a while. And I just got a chance to actually sit down and pick his brain. And it was such an awesome experience. So I want to say thank you. First and foremost, for giving me your time. I appreciate you for real. And then I feel like I should be talking about these things more often because it's crazy how I use these dinosaurs and like background stuff and things like that. And I never get a chance to like really explore stuff like this. So I told myself I'm going to try to start talking about things that I've truly enjoyed, but don't really have a chance to share with people. So today we're gonna talk about this. And this Triceratops is actually pretty cool. It is 118 scale, but it works with 112 scale stuff as well. But um I really, really like this stuff. And it's cool that you can get these photogenic things based on the amount of detail he put into these dinosaurs is ridiculous. So I'm going to start from head to tail. And we're going to talk about our head first. And I have to move it around because it's so large. Um, it doesn't fit in my camera frame. And I have a limited space. But yeah, we actually have these horns, which I just put on. Uh, the horns are actually removable because you get two versions of them. I have the short ones on right now and the reason why i take them off most of the time because they are pointy and they do hurt so please be careful if you're going to be around pets or, or small children or even yourself i have a blind cat so i have to take these off so he doesn't run into them when i have this on the floor but even just talking about the triceratops head right here we have our open hinge jaw which is really nice we have our horns which i've talked about these are the short versions and then we actually have a very nice range of articulation as you can see here going left and right and it's on a ball joint so you can see it go up as well too and we can go down for like ramming speeds and stuff like that the front plate is so nice and beautiful it's really this the plastic on this is really tough too as you can see in here this is just ah uh, i don't know how he does it but he makes them so nice and so sturdy to begin with as we move our way to the neck we have the neck that is separated from the rest of the torso. This actually has some movement as well. As you can hear the, the movement of the joints there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna heat mine up. It's pretty cold here right now. But as you can see, you get extra movement here in the neck area. Then we have our legs, which move on a single joint here going forward and knees, which are our feet, which move backwards, right? So if you want that running movement, right? As you can see here, you can actually pick up your feet and do the twist. <laughs> sorry, I just had to make that joke. I'm so sorry. But yeah, you get stuff like this. And I really enjoy the movement angle of this because even here in our waist area, we can rotate and go left and go right. So like I said, you actually have a bunch of really solid and organic movement looking right. And it's, it's crazy because with all of this articulation that you'll get on this dinosaur, it's really cool because even though you see it like with the breakage, he's lined it up so well. So I'm super happy with these that they could just photograph so beautifully. And as I've been sitting here, just doing a bunch of stuff lately, it's, it's just been so nice. It's same for the back one. You, I want to heat mine up again because it got cold, but we can ever so slightly, well, this one can't move, sorry, but we can rotate these a little left and right and we can move it backwards. Whereas we move this forwards and the toe goes in back foot for that web foot look. And then at last we have the tail which is also on a ball joint, which can rotate around, as you can see here. So please keep that in mind. This is just one of those things where I just wanted to showcase it, show how beautiful it was, and really just kind of give it a little bit of, of energy that I feel like it deserves. So I'm going to take the horns off, show you that we actually get a slightly bit of longer ones and slightly different design. As you can see, this one sits here like this, and this one is like this. Make sure they lined up properly. Yep, sorry. So we'll get a rounded horn and this one is a more straightforward horn so let's actually pop these bad boys on make sure i line it up right oh i didn't so there we go so yeah now you have the more adult horns if i if i said that correctly the adult horns so here this is just so beautiful so i'm hoping that i can get some really nice captured photos with it um for size comparison, I don't really know if I'm going to be sizing this out right. But the first thing I want to do is show it with another 118 scale figure, which is one of my tiny, my tiny, tiny joy toys with a custom Ichigo scope. 
And as you're going to see him kind of stacked up with it, here's Tiny 118 scale Ichigo with the Triceratops. It looks really cool. I like these two together. I want to team them up. <laughs> Maybe even use a vehicle shot of him running with a 118 scale vehicle. And it just looks really cool. And then when you compare it to something that's 112 scale or, or 6 inch, here is Phantom Ranger. So yeah. It's not that it, I don't think this looks bad because let's say you want to do one of those shots where somebody like Hercules, like squaring off against it, like the Triceratops or ever doing one of those. I don't know if anybody remembers this X-Men panel, but there was a panel where uh, in the Savage Land, Cyclops is facing off against multiple Triceratops and he bounced his concussion blast off the Triceratops faces. If I can ever recreate that, I would I would love to. But as you can see here, just sizing them up with stuff like this, you can see where it's going. And I really like the idea of this. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the creative photos <laughs> that I'm going to try to pull out for these. And again, thank you for sending this over and letting me sit down and talk about it. It has been a blast. Again, I appreciate you. So as always, I hope that you guys are enjoying. I hope that you're having a great new year. Oh, before I go, actually, wait, hold on. Because I also forgot that to compare it to an actual, uh, the Raptor, the Velociraptor which I'm also going to talk about as well, too, in another video. But yeah, look at that. So yeah, so so we have a lot. <laughs> so like, look, it's getting real out here, y'all. It's getting real. <laughs> so thank you for real for just sitting down and enjoying this video, checking it out. Hope you enjoy the photos at the end. Please enjoy your new year. Please enjoy your January. Please enjoy every day because we're here. We have a chance to sit down and, and try again every day. So as always, please be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Bye.